On the bill here tonight, two of the most talked about prospects in all British boxing, heavyweight Roman Greenberg and cruiserweight David Hay. We'll see Hay in action, first of all, just 22 years old, hugely impressive amateur record, and he looked pretty good on his professional debut too when he stopped the season campaigner Tony Booth at the York Hall Bethnal Green in December. He actually barely broke sweat, winning in two rounds. So, what would he make of a rather more experienced French opponent tonight? Let's join Richie and Jim once again. Well, if anything, David Hay looks in even better condition than he was when he made his professional debut on the 8th of December in London, when he had uh, very few problems stopping one of the great veterans of British boxing, Tony Booth, in two rounds. And here he's made the trip up to uh, Sheffield to try to uh, just uh, broaden his fan base. And he's in against another fairly inexperienced boxer, all the way from France, Saber Azari of North African extraction, Mickey Van, the vastly experienced referee, the man in the middle. Well, unexpected, needless to say, Richie, of, of David Hay. And as I mentioned, he really looks in superb condition. And having uh, boxed as a, as a heavyweight in the amateur ranks, I think, obviously, cruiserweight, as we've discussed before, is his, his natural weight. Yeah, I think so. Um, he's not, I don't think he's a heavyweight in the professional ranks. I think this is his weight cruiser, for now anyway. And um, he looks in excellent shape, obviously a very dedicated trainer and an, and an exceptional amateur. So, yeah, he's got a big future. His opponent uh, from France is just over six feet tall, Saber Zari. Made his professional debut just about two years ago. Had a contest in Belgium and was stopped in two rounds. He's had three in France in the last year. So he's had three more contests than David Hay, but uh, quite frankly, this should be a bit of a, a stroll for David Hay if he's the sort of David Hay that we've really come to expect. Yeah, and straight away, Hay there just coming ac across with a terrific left hook around the guard. It really was a cracking punch and uh, totally surprised Zari and uh, what an excellent shot that was very early on. Good stiff jab from Hay, terrific reflexes from this uh, world championship silver medalist who very nearly became a gold medalist after flooring the Cuban favourite in the opening round. This is Hay going about his business with a vengeance and a real sense of purpose there. Hay looks pretty lean and mean, and he's caught the Frenchman with a good right hand midway through this first round, and Hay looking very impressive indeed. Nothing too fancy about him. There's no showboating there at all, Richie. No, ex excellent stuff. I mean, his speed really is dazzling, and that's what Zari just cannot handle this speed. He's got, and David Hay's got a low left hand, but it's so relaxed, and it's, it's brought across with so much speed and power. Excellent punching from Hay. Good little reply by Zari. He's uh, got those elbows well tucked in, and the forearms and gloves are held well up in the front of his face to try to ward off the punches of David Hay. Step back! Well, a wonderful couple of rights round the corner from David Hay, just varying it nicely, ignoring his left for the time being. And already the face of this uh, Frenchman, who we believe is of Algerian extraction, his face is starting to redden up with less than a minute to go to the end of this first round. Sari, to his credit, looks like a natural cruiserweight, and he's got a little bit more movement than we saw from Tony Booth, so he's not just as, as easy a target to hit. No, he is, but at the same time, Jimmy, he, he must keep those hands nice and high, and uh, because David Hayes coming across with these left hooks, and it, it's from that relaxed left hand that he has. He turns the jab into a, into a vicious left hook around the guard, so it is so important. There it is again. So important for Zari to keep those hands nice and high. Just a few seconds to go to the end of what has been... An interesting first round. Look at Hay trying to just use that corkscrew uppercut coming off that left hook. Good three minutes for David Hay. And trainer Adam Booth and manager Eugene Baloney will be pretty pleased with that. And so far, Mick Williamson, needless to say, has not been needed at all except to smear a little bit of grease around the eyes. So a very good opening round by David Hay. Keeping a lot of his work at a distance, hasn't really stepped in. That was just an example of how fast this fellow's hand speed really is. Oh, excellent hand speed there, Jim, you have to say. And as I say, turning that jab, there he comes around the guard with the hook. His opponent thinks the jab coming and then he, he changes the plane of the attack to the hook. Excellent shot. Well, deciding not to bother sitting down on the stool in this uh, interval. Well, that's a, a history, I'm sure, that we'll see more of. It's certainly going to develop. And those uh, stark figures there, 22 years old, one contest, one win, one KO. 
He liked to keep it going along those uh, lines, I'm quite Second sure, as his Hillary. career unfolds. Uh, So David Hay, winner of multi-nations tournaments in, in Rome and in Croatia and in Copenhagen. Box as a 19-year-old, just an 18-year-old, I should say, in the World Championships in Houston and Texas. Three and a half years ago, lost to the eventual winner, Michael Sims of the United States, on the 8-2 computer scoring system. A terrific performance by the teenager. Zari once again covering up, and he's going to have to cover up. And to his credit, he pops out of that crouching style and has a little go at David Hay. Wonderful punching again from Hay. You're really showing us um, all the different shots, the left hands, the right hands, hooks, uppercuts, screw shots. He really has got it all. Excellent stuff. I don't know that Mickey Van's going to let David Hay's opponent take too many more of those solid right hands. Sari very wary of Hay's punching ability and trying to avoid that uppercut if he possibly can. Good footwork by Hay, that's a terrific piece of movement by the Englishman. Good footwork by the Frenchman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a solid right, terrific right hand by Hay. This fellow Zari might uh, have been knocked out in his first contest or stopped, but he's got a good chin, but his nose has cut very badly. There's a, a cut right in the middle of the bridge of his nose. It's not contest-threatening at this stage. It probably looks a lot worse than it is. Yeah, you have to give credit to Zari. He's actually took some terrific shots during the first two rounds of this fight. He really has, and he's still there and sticking out the jab. He's having a go, but... Uh, He's just out of his league here. Hey, he's uh, really is in a different class. He's been doing some uh, serious sparring in recent months. He sparred with uh, Mark Krenz and Roman Greenberg, Michael Sprott and Tommy Eastwood, many of whom are on this bill tonight here in Sheffield. Timing just a little bit off by Hay. He threw that left and was uh, maybe five, six inches away from it landing on the target but he's certainly dominating this contest as we come to the midway point of what's a scheduled four rounder and it's hard to, to to see where that cut is it looks like it's a vertical cut down the nose which is very rare if anything but uh, it certainly is bleeding a lot now yeah a tiny little blood vessel just there right underneath the skin and they've obviously popped a little bit and there's a lot of blood coming down but i don't think it's any anything terribly bad well, it says a lot for the courage of Sabre Zari that he stood up to some good shots. A lot of men may well have folded. So it is just a little nick on that uh, fairly prominent nose of his. Hey, nice and relaxed, getting the shots in, even brushing aside the guard of the Frenchman. And that is a wonderful right hand and a second round the corner. And those are the two uh, particular punches in that round that will have caused all the hurt. Yeah, a great right hand there again from Hay. Really shown us. He can. He really can go through all the all the punch ranges. I mean, he's long range, short range, and medium with the hooks and uppercuts. He had, really has got it all. But fair play to the Frenchman. He's still there. He's having a go. But uh, David Hay, he's in good form tonight. Well, they're working on uh, Zari's nose. David Hay, a little bit of a graze under the hit, underneath his right eye, but nothing to worry about. The 26-year-old has had just four professional contests. Lost the first, but has won the last three. So the midway stage in the schedule for Rounder and uh, one of the great hopes of British professional boxing, David Hay, looking pretty comfortable and pretty composed. Nose is still bleeding, so they weren't able to stem the flow, but it's nothing to worry about in terms of it affecting the uh, contest. He hasn't really rushed this one at all, Richie. He's been quite content to take his time. Yeah, very composed, but his, his power and the explosive power that he has really is a very impressive from Hay. And uh, he's not even out of breath, and he's so relaxed, but it's that left hand of his. Oh, he gets caught himself there. He on certainly the did. That wasn't a bad right hand from uh, Sabre Zari. 
Oh, well, that sting hay into action. I think it just did. Maybe that was the last thing that Zari should have done, is to really whack hay, and it wasn't a bad shot at all. Hay quicker to the punch. Just a little bit lighter than his French opponent, which is interesting. Zari came in at 13.9.5, hay at 13.8.25. So we can do this cruiserweight limit without any problems at all. Yeah, and what is impressive as well, Jim, from David Hay, commanding from the centre of the ring, another great right hand there. Oh, that was a terrific shot and a couple more, and Hay's really opening up. And Zari has taken some very good shots indeed, and he's still there. Well, we remember the Cuban, Orlando Solis, taking a, a terrific shot from Hay in Belfast some 18, 19 months ago and coming back to defeat Hay. I don't think he's going to get himself defeated here in Sheffield this evening. But Zari's face is a mask of red. It's very reddened up from the punching, and the blood is now starting to be smeared across his face. But he's still game, and he's still coming forward. This is exactly what Hay wanted. Yeah, this is the type of workout that David Hay needs early on in his career. It's no good if he keeps knocking guys out in one and two rounds. Here, this fella's come to fight, and he's come to give him a good account of himself, and hey, although he's in command, he's still having to watch what he's doing here. Well, he certainly has. This has been a very good piece of uh, matchmaking. Very few of us had heard anything at all about Saber Zari. That nose is worsening all the time. Hey again, being a little bit... Oh, that was wonderful by Hay. I was about to say he had been a little bit off target with the right, and then he produced a, a two-punch combination that rocked the Frenchman back in his heels. <laughs> oh! In our lap, Saber Zari right at the end. Mickey Van will give them the count. That's definitely going to be a 10-8 round to David. Hey, what a right hand that was. He sent him back to his corner. He'll come back for the uh, next round. But David Hay from nowhere at all, although we did sense that he may just have been building up to it, produced a right hand of stunning proportions. And the Frenchman right on the bell find himself not just in the seat of his pants, but almost out through the ropes. Hay, look at that. What hand speed. And Zari almost on top of our television monitors here. What a shot, Richie. Yeah, excellent. Sets him up with the jab, and there's that right hand straight to the guard. I mean, he, Zari did well to get up from that. He was just above us, and what a cracking punch that was. Right through the guard, excellent shot. And uh, as I said, he did well to actually get up. Well, I tell you, there are heavyweights in Britain wouldn't have got up from that shot, and that uh, says so much about this fellow. And look at Hay, a little bit of perspiration on the forehead, and as we said, well, he's hardly... Uh, He's hardly warmed up. It's confirmation from Mickey Van, the touch gloves for the last round. Mickey Van's had a good look at the nose of Saber Zari. And what a brave chap he is to come back from that one. So David Hay has gone another couple of runs than he did in his uh, first contest when he stopped Tony Booth. And now he's trying to stop this Frenchman. Oh, what a mess this uh, Zari's face is. And he's really puffing and blowing now, but he is such a game fellow. Maybe a little bit too game for his own good. Hey, trying to... A little bit more anxiety in the work of Hay. Now, he's determined to try to finish this one, Richie. He certainly is. I mean, I think Mickey Van should step in here. This guy's... Uh, yeah, here he goes, I think. Yeah, that's it. Zari is not at all pleased. He wanted to go on. He wanted to see the contest out. Uh, Mickey Van, I think, has seen enough. Uh, Zari was never going to win this. He was uh, cutting up quite badly. He was bruising quite badly. He's very annoyed that the contest has been uh, stopped because he doesn't want that on his record. He was never going to beat David Hay. And uh, David Hay, while well, looking uh, nicely unruffled and unflustered, gets a wipe down from Mick Williamson and can reflect on a job very well done. No one single shot just ended this, but the sheer pressure from Hay was just far too much. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was a great performance, and uh, not only that, uh, Zari himself has given a good performance, and I think we'll probably see a lot more of him as well, but uh, David Hay, excellent. 
David, many congratulations. He gave you a really good workout, didn't he? Yes, exactly what we wanted. We chose the guy who was, was aiming for six rounds, and I generally thought he could make the six rounds because he's so durability in his last few fights. So, um, unfortunately, they cut it down to four rounds, and the referee stopped the fight. But I'm sure he would have went on to um, last the distance, but he had a bit, of, a bit of damage on his face, so, you know, I mean, the boxer's safety is always paramount. He demonstrated he could take a punch in the first two rounds, and then in the third round, this happened. Uh, you really whacked him. Take a look at this. You'll enjoy watching it. What do you reckon? Yeah, we work on that shot a lot in the gym, me and Adam Booth, um, down in the first base. So um, everything went to plan. Um, he was just as tough as I anticipated, so this is what I need. I don't want to fight guys who fall over after one shot. It doesn't do you justice. It doesn't do the public justice. So I'm going to try and fight a um, tough opposition. And once again, I'm calling out all the British cruiserweights. I'm, I'll fight anyone. In Britain, I'm ready to go right now. I'll fight anyone. So, once you, you got, if you, I'm just, I was trying to get a fight with someone from Britain. I don't want to fight foreigners all the time because you can't judge how good I am because you've never seen this guy fight before. So, I want any cruiserweights out there in Britain. I'm ready to fight anyone now. Well, it's good that you're putting out, um, as boxers do, the, the sort of the challenge. But just yeah. tell me, uh, as a final question, does it feel very different being a, a professional? Yeah, I can just express myself. I can just relax, and I haven't got a referee constantly nagging me. And the point is, over three-minute rounds, so that suits me down to the ground as well, where I can just relax and pick my shots. But I'm, I work, I train really hard. I mean, thanks to Puma and everyone that's behind me, and I'm, everything's going so smooth at the moment. I'm looking at fighting once a month, um, ideally twice a month. I'm, I'll go straight back into the gym tomorrow and work on what. Um, I think I got shot. Hit with about three punches here, so yeah. hopefully I can minimise that. Yeah, back to the gym tomorrow because yeah. your conditioning didn't look good. Just oh, kidding yeah. you. Just kidding you. <laughs> yeah, I made the cruise well weight. I made the cruise weight limit comfortably, and I'm just ready to go as soon as possible. Well done. Thanks a lot. Bye. Well, David Hay clearly fights and talks a good fight, and we'll talk about his prospects in a moment or two.